Okay, we're going to tie a Y2K pattern. Um, some people consider it maybe to be an egg pattern. Others uh, look at it as an attractor pattern. Um, whether you look at it as an egg pattern or an attractor pattern, uh, it is very effective in the water. The pattern was developed um, in the Ozarks probably sometime around when the Y2K virus, um, computer virus, was, was coming out. Um, it was developed by a tire by the name of David Knowles, uh, as I said, in Arkansas in the Ozarks. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this pattern, probably outside of the Ozark area and um, maybe the Midwest. But it is a good pattern. Um, it's a good pattern. It's a tractor pattern. To tie it, we're going to use a, um, a scud hook. We're going to tie it pretty large, size 12. Um, and the, uh, you can also use a 2499 SP. You might use a um, egg hook. Um, there are a number of hooks that you can use. Um, we're going to save it to tie it with a scud hook. Whoops. On the scud hook, we're going to put a 532nd gold bead. This will give it a lot of weight. Under the bead, you can put some lead wrappings if you want to hold the bead in place. It's not uh, absolutely necessary, um, but it does sometimes help. Thread we're going to use is a GSP. I'm going to use a 75 a denier and orange. You can use various colors um, and probably um, 100 denier um, is, not out of the, um, is not too large. We're going to use some egg yarn. Uh, this particular yarn is dark roll. The original pattern was fluorescent orange and fluorescent yellow. Uh, as a contrasting color, we're going to use light roll. And here again, it's from the bug shop, our, our bug yarn, uh, glow ball yarn, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay, we're going to put our bead on the hook. And we're going to put it in our vise. Okay, I'm going to start the thread right behind the bead. And again, if you've got lead on here to give it a little extra weight, you want to make sure that your lead slides underneath the bead itself so it doesn't impede the tying of the fly. Start our thread <coughs> and bring it back. And we'll bring back just about the, between the barb and the point. Then we'll bring it back forward. Make sure we've got a nice, tight layer of thread. Okay, and then I want to put a little super glue on here. You don't have to do that, but it's something that um, makes the fly a little bit more stable. It gives it a little bit better holding power. Okay, for the fly itself, then we're going to use the two colors of the yarn, the contrasting colors. I'm going to clip off about a one, a little over one inch section of both colors. <coughs> As I said, the original tie was fluorescent orange and fluorescent um, yellow. Um, and tying this on a size 12 hook, we want to use a, a, a width or a diameter of yarn just about one as it comes off the, the, the out of the package, um, maybe just a little bit smaller. Um, fly isn't shouldn't be too bulky. It's not too bad if you tie a little bit sparser. Okay, we're going to tie one right behind the eye on the far side. We're going to pull that thread tied up against the bead. Make three or four good wraps. Bring the set under it and back over. <laughs> then we're going to prepare. Then we're going to compare, prepare the other side. Here again, we want about the same diameter of yarn as we had on this side. 
And notice that um, majority of the yarn or most of the yarn is on towards the rear of the, the shank of the hook. Okay, we'll tie on the other piece of yarn. Again, we want to try to keep them from going around the bottom too much. And we'll bring the yarn in back, forward, and tie it off. Whip finish. Cut a thread. You'll notice that most of the yarn is towards the rear of the fly. <coughs> okay, we're going to take the back half of the fly and we're going to cut it off about maybe eight, uh, three eighths of an inch or a quarter of an inch back from the end of the hook and we're going to kind of try to cut it at a slight angle. And then we'll take the front, we'll hold it up, lay our scissors on the, on the bead, and we're going to try to cut it about the same angle as the back end. Give it a little trim on both sides. And we have the Y2K. Now, in fishing this, this, as I said, it's a good attractor pattern. So you want to fish it under an indicator as a top fly and a two fly rig. Um, it's a great attractor. I've seen fish come from 10 to 12 feet, come right at this fly and veer off and grab the dropper that's below it. So um, it's an excellent pattern to get your bottom fly down. It's an excellent pattern to uh, use as an indicator. <laughs> okay. <laughs>